Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and this is kind of a step inside of designing your commercial project. So first thing you need to do is take a list of all the different kind of spaces you need in your building and start doing some thinking, some things like where are the noisy areas going to be? So like children, that's noisy. A maker space, that's probably noisy. An elevator, that's probably noisy. So you go through and think like that. Then you also need to think about places that you would want to be quiet, like the stacks. This is the bookshelves in the library. Uh, you would want the study space to be quiet. You would want the office to be quiet. And you would want the computer area to be quiet. So those are some examples there. So think about how the spaces are going to be used and if it's going to be loud or quiet, if it's going to be open to the public, or is it going to be kind of a private area. Those are some of the things you can think about before you start laying out your plan. So um, first, I'm just going to start with stacks. Stacks are kind of the most important thing for a library. So I'm going to have stacks here. And I think what I'm going to do, instead of talking, I'm just going to lay out my plan and then I'll talk about it after I'm done. All right, so here's kind of a quick layout. So reception, I wish there was a way to kind of highlight as I went. I don't have a pointer. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is just say here's reception. This is where people come in and go out. Next to that we have the children's area because you want your staff to be able to keep an eye on the children. Uh, you might have a maker space after that. We've got kind of the noisy things put together. This back corner we're going to have a break room for the staff members and this would have windows on it and stuff so they could see what's happening around the place. You would have an office for the head librarian a restroom just for the staff, and a conference room for them to have quick meetings in. You would have the study area over here next to the museum space, and next to the stacks and the computer area. These are all supposed to be quiet. And then we might put the public restrooms in the very back, the mechanical room next to that, the elevator next to the mechanical room because you have access to power and that sort of thing, stairs next to that because usually you have your uh, access between first and second floor next to each other. That way you don't have an elevator on one side and the stairs on the other. So if you're working, you know, that way you don't have to run back and forth if you're with someone that needs the elevator. So uh, let's just highlight a couple of things. All right, so here I've kind of outlined the quiet areas in green and then the yellow areas are our noisier areas. So this lets you kind of think about how do you have the spaces grouped together in a way that makes sense. So um, that's a real quick run through on doing the bubble diagram. And this is going to guide your design. So you would look at this and figure out where would exits make sense and that sort of thing. So what you would do is take this and then go look at your space in your actual structure. And now you can go back and look at how that guides your design here. So here we have the computer space, which is quiet, the stacks, which are quiet, this study zone, this office are all quiet. The Okay, and then we want to go and look at the places that have more volume. You probably have volume here where people are coming in, children's spaces, maker spaces, mechanical room, an elevator. Okay, so you can see how my bubble diagram guided my design uh, when I started putting this into Revit. So anyway, that's just a real quick rundown of laying out, going from your list of places you need to include in the structure to a bubble diagram to actually putting it in the structure with reasonable allocation of space. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching.